Hey guys, and welcome to my first Dollar Tree and Dollarama haul for March. I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree haul because it's the smallest, and get this, I didn't buy any craft supplies on this run. None. I know, I can't blame it either. In fact, I only bought one item that wasn't groceries, and it was this adorable little thing. This is a toothbrush holder that looks like an adorable little puppy, and there was just no way that I could pass this up. They also had a matching soap dispenser, and I saw that one first, but it was too big to put in my bathroom, so I was sad, but I told myself, no, you don't need it, you have nowhere to put it. But then I saw this, and I do have space in my bathroom where my old toothbrush holder is, so I just couldn't help myself. I mean, it's not plastic, it's ceramic, it's adorable, and it was only $1.25, so yes please. As far as groceries went, I got two of these Special K protein shakes to try. I picked up yet another tube of the Pringles nacho cheese tortilla chips. They were actually almost out of this one, and it seems it's now being replaced by the Fiesta Salsa flavor, which doesn't appeal to me at all, so I'm glad I got another one of these while I still could. I grabbed some chocolate, which was dumb, because I ended up going to Walmart later and grabbing Easter chocolate there, so I'm now more than set for this stuff, but oh well. So I got a bag of the Reese Crunchers to try and a pack of the Reese Big Cups. I picked up a box of the Dare Break Time chocolate chip cookies, and for some reason there's a piece of tape on it. And I grabbed some of the cereal that I've seen everyone hauling. I got one box of the Pumpkin Spice Mini Wheats and one of the Cocoa Puffs. And that was literally it for Dollar Tree. I spent about $12. I don't think I've ever spent that little of Dollar Tree before. Moving on to Dollarama and continuing with groceries, I got two of the Island Bars, which are the off-brand version of Bounty Bars, and they are two for a dollar. Again, stupid in hindsight, but it's not like I'm not going to eat it. I grabbed a bag of Goldfish Crackers for two dollars, because I've been wanting something snacky that isn't chips. And then I got some repeat purchases. I picked up two more of the Vortman's Fudge Striped Oatmeal Cookies for two dollars each, and two more of the Pyramid Bars for a dollar fifty each. In, I guess you'd call it the home goods category, I caved and picked up the little light box, and this was $4. I picked up a second set of bookends for $2, and I grabbed this gorgeous bag with this vintage camera print on it for $3. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it, it's got kind of odd dimensions that make it not really work as a shopping bag, it's advertised as a messenger bag, but I don't care because it was too gorgeous to leave behind. I'll open it up and kind of show you what it looks like the best I can. So you open it up with this big flap on the front. It's got little magnetic snaps on it. And then there's more pattern in there. There's a big camera there on the inside. And the straps are on the inside. Um, and the tag on it says it's made from something recycled. Woven from 95% post-consumer material. Used grain sacks, apparently. Or what they use for, to make the bag. And it's, like I said, it's kind of an odd dimension. You take the straps out, and it's like, like it's really rather thin, and there's a second pocket on the inside as well. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna, you can't even really see that, but you know, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use it, but it's, it's just such a cool bag, and it's, it's just, it's so pretty. So I had to get it even though I probably shouldn't have, because I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but there you go. Stationary wise, I picked up three more packs of the card holder sleeves for a dollar each, and four more packs of the self eliminating sheets for $2.50 each. And finally, in the crafty section, I got these Elmer's glue dots for $2.50. I picked up a roll of foam tape in the hardware section for $1. This was a completely surprise find, this DCWV wedding product stack. It was in the wedding section, but in both stores I went to, it was hidden. In fact, it was so hidden that I actually went back and scoped up the party section in case they'd hidden any paper stacks in there, too. But they hadn't. But the store I found this in, it was in the second shelf of a rack, and all you could see was the bottom of the paper. I just happened to look right at the right angle to be able to see this blue banner, and I realized it was a paper stack. And in the other store, it was on the top shelf, but it was buried under other stuff. So either which way, it was really hard to see. So this was $4, and it's kind of a weird size. It's like... It's about eight and a half by eleven and a half. It's got 36 sheets, three of each design, and it's all white foiling on white paper. So I'm not sure how well it'll show up on camera, but I will try to do a flip through here if I can.
And then finally, I've been doing so good with the Easter craft stuff, you guys. I bought practically nothing. I was doing so good. But then I saw these. These are textured stickers. They are uh, pop-up stickers that are made of textured paper. And they were just too cute to pass up. They had more designs than this, but these are the only ones I really liked. They were all $1.25 each. And I grabbed two of this bunny design, two of these chicks, and two of this bunny design. And that is it for this haul. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share the video if you think someone you know might like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.